Thank you for returning to the channel and discussing making art prints with leaves has long been considered a fall craft project. However, it's possible and easy to make beautiful and unique do-it-yourself wall decor using leaves throughout the entire year. Here's how to use leaves to make art prints. Materials. Paint acrylic tempera works best. Paint brushes, palette for mixing, colors, water, paper, cardstock, wood, a rolling pin or other rolling tool. Your choices of leaves. How to find the best leaves for printing? You can use practically any type of leaf for this project. Opt for leaves that are flat or mostly flat and not so soft that they break easily. Leaves with vine patterns or ridges make for the most interesting prints because of the extra texture they add. You can go forage for leaves outdoors or even use leaves from your house plants if you decide to take a cutting of a fresh leaf. Make sure it's one of the plant can spare. Pruning leaves unnecessarily can stress out the plants while it's definitely easier to find leaves on the ground in the fall, you may still find some great options out in the world. How to make leaf prints? Paint on one side of the leaf, being careful not to add too much paint. When in doubt, use less than you need and add to it if, you, if needed. You can either use one solid color, mix colors, or create specific patterns and shapes. If you're using thick paper like cardstock or watercolor paper, lightly dampen it with a spritz from a spray bottle. This will help keep the leaf steady for your print and avoiding smudging. When your printing surface is prepared, carefully place the leaf paint side down. Set another piece of paper or paper towel on top. Use your rolling pin or other rolling tool to apply or even, uh, even amount of pressure back and forth over the leaf. Use fewer strokes for lighter print or use more for deeper color and saturation. Lift away the top paper carefully so you don't move the leaf. Peel the leaf off the paper and you'll have a beautiful, colorful impression on the surface. Additional tips. Unlike rubber stamps, stencils, or other tools used in printmaking, leaves are very delicate. Handle them gently and don't be surprised if one tears during the process. It may create a more natural look for your art piece. You can also use the same process on other surfaces like metallic, plastic, or even fabric. For metal, or plastic, use acrylic paint and use fabric paint for cloth. No matter what, you now have a fun and simple way to bring nature into your home decor and give new life to fallen leaves. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and especially subscri subscribe. However, if you feel I'm not covering a topic you're looking for, Mention it to me in an email and I will take care of it and provide an answer or make up a video and put it on the channel. Look forward to speaking, look forward to hearing from you soon. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.